Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I am so excited to do because we are bringing back the regret series. We are bringing back the regret series. Clearly, you can tell I'm excited to bring the series back. If you are not familiar with my regret series, you might not be familiar with me. Hi, hello. My name is Smith March. I started the regret series a couple years ago, actually as a spin-off to another series on my channel. Again, if you don't know me, big fan of series. <laughs> big fan of series on my channel, okay? But I do a weekly series called the Will I Buy It. There is over 200 episodes of that. I've been doing it for many, many years now where I talk over new makeup releases and what I'm interested in picking up and what I'm going to pass over. I decided to start the Regret series kind of as a spin-off to the Will I Buy It to talk about the products that I mentioned and then what happened. Did I buy it? If I did buy it, did I regret it? Did I not regret it? If I decided to skip over it, did I regret skipping over it? Or am I cool that I decided to skip over it? Alas, the regret series was born. So I haven't done a video in the series in quite some time and I've been getting a lot of requests to bring it back and it is time. I'm going to be talking about makeup that I regret not buying. Ooh. So these are some products that came out a while ago and I passed over them and now I'm kind of like, should I have gotten them? So I'm really excited. I have five different products that I'm going to be sharing with you today. I will link my regret series down below if you want to catch some of my past videos. I will link my will I buy it series down below if you are not yet familiar with that series. But why don't we go ahead and jump into it. For this video, this one is a little bit tricky and when I've done my regret series before, I sometimes I skip over this one because when I started doing this series several years ago, at that time, when makeup was limited edition, it really was limited edition. It came out once, when it sold out, it was gone, it wasn't coming back, it, there wasn't a re-release. And now over the years, there is definitely limited edition makeup. And of course there's products that are limited edition and they sell out, but a lot of times now they come back or there's re-releases, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I haven't always done this one when I do the regret series, but I decided to bring it back because I know a lot of people really liked this one when I've done it in the past. This has been a really well received video, so I really wanted to do it. And I do have one product on my list that is like, it's gone, it's sold out. The other products are available, but sometimes there is this tricky thing with being on YouTube and being a YouTuber is that if you don't get something right away, the interest in that product definitely goes down. So sometimes when I'm looking at all of the new makeup that I'm interested in getting and reviewing and showing looks with it, sometimes it's a little bit harder to talk myself into older products because I'm like, well, if I did a video on that eyeshadow palette now, not as many people are going to watch as they did when it first came out. That's just the way that it is on YouTube. Like that's, I, I, I know that everyone is different and you might still be interested in some older products, but as a scope and as a whole, they just tend to not get as much love. So because I spend so much money on my YouTube channel as it is and so much money on makeup as it is, I just have to be smart when I'm thinking about making purchases that might not get as much love on my channel. So I just want to say that. So just bear with me there and let's just have fun with this video. Okay. Okay. I'm going to try to do this series every single week. A lot of times when I do series, like I just wrapped my declutter series, I was doing a declutter every single week. I want to do the regret series um, for several weeks here and have a video once a week. And again, kind of go through regret buying, don't regret buying, regret not buying, regret not trying sooner. I think those are all of the videos that I do in this series. And I am looking back on my will I buy it videos from about 10, like nine, 10 months ago, because that is from the last regret video that I did. So I'm just kind of picking it up from where I left off. But I think it's kind of fun to look back almost a full year ago on the products that I talked about in my series and talk about where they are now instead of my video that I just did last month. So uh, make sure if you're not yet subscribed, I would love if you subscribe. If you like the idea of the regret series and it coming back, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up because that really does help me out and lets me know what series you want to see continued on my channel. And of course the engagement always helps as well. So really obviously appreciate that. But the first product that I wanted to kick it off with is the one that is no longer in stock. I don't know if it's coming back or not, but it has been out of stock for a while now. I'm going to scoot over a bit to add in some photos. But this is from ColourPop and this is the Baby Got Peach palette. So this is one of their nine, uh, yeah, nine pan palettes and it retailed for $12. So I've noticed that this one has been out of stock for a while. ColourPop can kind of be like sometimes 
things go out of stock quickly with them. They can sell out and they go out of stock, but they come back. I haven't seen the, the Baby Got Peach go back in stock, at least since I've had my eye on it and since I've been planning to do the series and making my list and all the research that goes into filming these types of videos, looking back on old videos and all of that. So I don't know if this one is going to come back or not. It's still showing on the website, so maybe it will. But this is one that I'm like, Oh, I kind of wish I would have got this when it first released. I think it would have been fun to do um, with a lot of the nine pan palettes from ColourPop. I did some three looks with them and those were fun videos. I have a whole ColourPop playlist as well. So I'm like, maybe I could have done three looks. I really like these tones. Uh, I, I'm, a, I'm very much a neutral fan. I, see, I have one eyeshadow on my eyes right now, okay? Like, I'm, I'm very much a neutral fan and I like these colors a lot. And I have a lot from ColourPop. I have a lot of the nine pan palettes. I'm not a collector. I also didn't buy every single eyeshadow palette myself. I did get some in PR from ColourPop, but I also did buy a lot of them. ColourPop has some of my favorite eyeshadow palette formulas out there. And especially for the price, it's just like such a win-win. I kind of wish I would have had this one still in my collection, but now I can't even because uh it's completely sold out so i don't know if it's coming back but do you guys have this one from ColourPop? and if it does come back would you guys be like i really think that you would like that one in your collection samantha i just let me know holler at me let a girl know but i kind of regret not picking that one up from ColourPop. <laughs> next up on my list i have a highlighter and this is from milk makeup and this is their flex highlighter this is 28 dollars. they have four different shades it's available at sephora and again it is available now but it's a bit of an older release. I think it came out almost a year ago, at least like nine, 10 months ago. And I'm like, you know, if I picked it up now, $28 is a little bit more expensive for a highlighter, you know? It's like, if I pick it up now, I just don't know because there's so many highlighters that I have in my collection. There's so many that I love. I collaborated on my own highlight with Ofra Cosmetics that I'm wearing today. I have like my whole Ofra collab on my face and my lips today. Also, if you don't know, Samantha Marge, did a collaboration with Ofra Cosmetics that released in March was the, like the most exciting thing to happen for me. So that is still available. Um, it sold out at Ulta Beauty because you guys are amazing, but it is all still available right now at Ofra Cosmetics and there is going to be a restock at Ulta. I don't have the date yet, but it is going to be restocking so you don't have to have no regrets there. Okay, let's come back. Okay. Okay. So I'm just like, I, I just don't know, but it's gotten a lot of really good reviews. What does it have on the Sephora website? It has like four and a half stars on the Sephora website. I've seen a lot of my friends and my favorites on YouTube recommend this one and review it and say really good things about it. And I'm like, mm, sometimes I wish I would have grabbed it just so I could like happily have it in my collection right now. Uh, we could be so happy together. But I'm like, is it is it worth it to go back and spend the $28 on it now? Especially when like a new highlighter comes out and I'm like, do I gotta get that one? I just, this is where I struggle. So even though it is still available, it's like, I, I don't know if I should do it. Again, the, I'm gonna, like, I'm really counting on you guys to come through right now with the suggestions, with the comments, with the feedback. Did you guys try this one? What did you think of it? I just, I don't know if it's worth going out and get. I actually have a couple here from Natasha Denona. You guys might not know, but I have recently become friends with Natasha Denona. Like we're girlfriends and we have girls nights and we used to have wine nights with my other friends, Charlotte Tilbury and Pat, um, lo the lovely Pat McGrath. Um, we have had to switch those to virtual, to Zooms. Um, we can't go to each other's houses anymore because of quarantine, but we're still keeping them up. Also, if you don't know, I love to tell jokes and make myself laugh. So that is a joke, but I don't know when the girls night jokes started happening, but so many people seem to enjoy it. And I get, I, I literally get a message probably every single day of someone else talking about like how it makes them smile. It makes them laugh. They want to be invited to girls night. Like it just is, it's the little things. Okay. It's the little things in life, but I do have a couple on here from Natasha Denona. Has our friendship influenced me? Perhaps. I'm kidding again, but I have tried a few more products from Natasha. I have really fallen in love with her mini palettes, the mini nude, the mini glam. I most recently purchased the mini retro, uh, the mini love palette. I, per I, I have, I've purchased all of these and I think that they're fantastic. Like I haven't even gotten any PR even though we're friends. What's up with that? But I like, I'm just, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. So when I was going back through the will I buy it series, I saw the mini gold eyeshadow palette and I was like, Hmm, 
interesting. So the mini gold, this one is $25. Now I'm like, do I regret not buying this one because I've ended up really enjoying the minis and I kind of just like want to have it kind of like what I was saying with the color pop and I'm just being honest here so like try not to make fun of me but we're all we're all supposed to be makeup and beauty lovers here and I know that no one is ridiculing me for some of my reasonings okay I know you're not but it's like do I want it because I have so many of the other minis that I kind of want this one too but when this one first came out I was looking at the shades and I was like I don't really know I don't really wear the greens a ton I honestly don't really wear golds all that often but there is that there's really only that one gold shade in there but now I like greens just a tad bit more and I like the olive and like the army or the khaki greens I think that those are really cool so now I'm kind of eyeing this one again like hmm huh. It's only $25, which is not a bad price for the mini shadows. And I, I really like them. I know that they're small, but I continue to buy these because I like them so much. I've hit pan in my mini nude, which is like amazing for me. Okay. So this one is still available at Sephora and I'm kind of giving it the side eye again. Like, should I do it or should I not? Because again, it's an older release. Like, should I just see what Natasha's going to come up with next? And maybe I'll buy it. Like she just came out with the mini retro. I purchased it. She came out with the mini love. I purchased it. Like, should I just wait because she's probably going to come out with a new eyeshadow palette and what if I want it? Or is it like, it's only $25 and I could, I could add it to my little mini collection. If you guys also don't know, I love minis. I love makeup minis and skincare minis. Let, let me know. Did anyone get this one? What did you think? Other product from Natasha Denona is lipsticks. So I feel like I'm mentioning like my favorite things. Eyeshadow palettes, highlights, lipsticks. <laughs> okay then. She came out, again, this was about 9-10 months ago. She came out with the I Need a Nude Lipstick. And it was a full collection of nude lipsticks. I love nude lipsticks. I love full collections. <laughs> uh, big fan. I have these and I, I even went and I clicked on the Willow because I was like, what exactly did I say about that? I need a nude lipstick. And I was like hemming and hawing and I was going back and forth and I was like, maybe one shade, maybe two shades. There was a few shades in there that I really liked a lot. These are $25 per lipstick, pricier for a lipstick, but Natasha Nona is more of a high priced brand. But I ended up passing over them and I... I kind of am still regretting it a little bit and I actually don't have any Natasha lip products and I kind of would like one because I love the super glow highlight obviously I'm a big fan of the eyeshadow palettes uh, even the mini bronze and glow love that one I have a mini blush and glow the mini bronze and glow I use a lot and it's like sometimes it would be nice to finish off the look with a lip product but I don't have any Natasha lip products maybe I should try something from the I need a nude collection one of the one of the reasons that it was holding me back is because they're all in a satin finish and I do prefer like even last year like dipping my toes in on the gloss train I like had one foot up and I was like oh, is the train about to depart don't really know um, but I also still really like matte lips so sometimes satin lips aren't my absolute favorite the packaging still looks really nice on it I feel like I could still be convinced like I could still be talked into purchasing one of these from Natasha <laughs> this might be a really dangerous video to make actually oh man I don't know let me know if you got one though or if you had any favorite shades because ah oh, man some of these it's like I did talk myself out of and now I'm like but should but should I but should I and then last up we have another eyeshadow palette ah oh, I feel like if I would have bought this one when it first came out I would have been happy with it even though I was like I was pretty it was fairly easy for me to talk myself out of it, but I think if I would have bought it, I wouldn't have regretted it. But now that I didn't buy it and it's an older release, I'm kind of having that like, is it really worth it? But I, I still think about it. And there was a time, let me just tell you what it is before I get any further ahead of myself. This is another one from ColourPop and this is the So Jaded palette. This was in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. So it's $39 and what does it have? It has what like 30 shades? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, 30 super pigmented shades. Okay, I talked myself out of it because I don't like larger palettes. Even last year, um, you know, nine, ten months ago when this came out, I I go for the smaller palettes. Like I just said with those mini palettes from Natasha Denona, five little palettes. Or five no, not five little palettes. I want five little palettes. I think I just have three. But five little eyeshadow pans in there, and that works great for me. So 
with the 30 i was like it's just too much it's too big of a palette like i don't need something like this obviously it's a little bit more expensive because it's a bigger palette you know i i really do like the nine pan um and even the 12 pan palettes from color pop and those are all under 20 dollars I'm like, I just, I don't think that I should do it. I love Kathleen Lights. She's like, I, I really am a big fan of her professionally, but I'm also a big fan of her personally. I've been able to meet her and chat with her and she's just, she's a gem of a person. And I'd like to be able to support people who I do consider my friends or people that I want to root for on YouTube. But so it was like hard for me to talk myself out of it. But then I remember going to New York and uh, meeting a, a subscriber who had it on her eyes. And I was like, Hmm. should I do it? And she was like talking me into it in the middle of the park in New York City. And I was like, all right, all right, all right. I got, I'm going to do, I'm going to do it. And I was seeing so many people do so many beautiful looks with it. Kathleen included just friends and other YouTubers. And I was like, did I make a mistake? And then I bought something from ColourPop. I, I it might've been when I purchased the smoke show palette because that would, I think that would have been one of the, the releases that came out pretty shortly after So Jaded. And I bought that one. I'm just gonna throw that one in my bag too. And the thing is, is like what, even what I was saying at the beginning, I was like, I know I'll be happy with it if I purchase it. I like, I truly believe that I will be. It was out of stock. And I was like, ooh, bugger, <laughs> like now what? And it was shortly after that, it came back in stock. And so people were tagging me like, it's back in stock. And then I like, I had my doubts again and I didn't do it. And now here I am making this video. What's a girl to do? What's a girl to do? Help me out. I feel like a lot of you are gonna say that you think that I should get the palette. Really the biggest thing holding me back was that it was a big palette with 30 shades. Like that truly was the biggest thing otherwise I think I would have been sold for sure, but let me know your thoughts because that is still in stock. Watch, it's going to go like, I, like I'm going to get talked into it and I'm going to go buy it and it's going to be out of stock again, but you know, that's fine. After that, those are the five products that I kind of regret not buying. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you just had fun with it. Uh, it was fun for me to make. Let me know what you want to see next. Do you want to see products I regret buying, that I don't regret buying, that I regret not trying sooner? Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for requesting the regret series to come back. I'm really excited that it is here for the next while. Ooh, ooh. Other than that though, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go and I will see you in my next video.